Okay, so what do we got going on here? Well, I have a triangle and I got the vertices at each of the corners here of the triangle and we want to perform a translation uh, to actually move this triangle and that translation is defined this way. Okay, we can define a translation with this notation and this specific translation is this, okay? Uh, so x plus 2, we have, well, parentheses x plus 2, comma, y minus 5. So if you are taking geometry, hopefully you know what to do here. This is not that difficult, but you definitely need to be familiar with translations. There's all sorts of translations. Translations is basically when you have an, um, some sort of figure on an x, y plane, and we're going to map it uh, to another location. And there's all kinds of ways we can do that. We can do reflections, rotations. We can perform... Uh, specific translations like this. We can do uh, glide reflections, all this kind of stuff um, that you definitely need to know if you are taking a uh, geometry course. But <clears throat> if you're new to this concept of translations, well, this is not going to be that difficult, right? So I'm going to get into exactly what we do here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So I can help you excel in your math courses. Now, uh, this stuff that we're talking about here, I teach specifically in my geometry course. So if you need help with translations, that's the course you want to check out. Um, also, I do a ton in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for any exam that has math on it, for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accomplice, or CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, on and on and on, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum. And if you don't have any math notes for whatever reason, because uh, I know you, you know, when you're in class, I know you're 100% focused. I know you're not listening to your friend talk to you. I know you're not distracted with your cell phone. Listen, I get it, okay? It's hard to take great math notes, but this is the key to being successful in math, okay? you got to take top notes, okay? But anyways, if you don't have great notes right now, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so um, just curious, how many out there think that you can do this problem, all right? So just tell me your answer, yes or no, or anything else you want in the comment section on how you would approach it. Now, what I want you to do, okay, is apply this translation uh, to these three coordinates, okay, that describe the, um, the vertices, the location of the vertices of this triangle, uh, of this triangle, excuse me. So apply this translation, tell me the new coordinates, all right? So if you know what you're doing, uh, you should be able to do this pretty easy. And even if you don't, you kind of see, hey, you know, you got something going on here to give you a bit of a hint. Put those coordinates in the comment section. But uh, let's get going now and talk about this translation. Okay, so here is our translation. And what it's saying is that we're going to take the, our XY coordinate, okay, whatever our XY ordered pair coordinate is, and we're going to map it to a new coordinate. And the new coordinate is going to be whatever that old x value was. We're just going to add 2 to it. And then whatever that old y value is, we're going to subtract 5 from it. Okay, so if we just follow this little rule, we'll get to our new mapping. Okay, so let's take a look at our first coordinate, 4, 3. Okay, all these coordinates right here, 4, 3, 9, 9, 11, 3, are part of the original uh, diagram here, the, the original figure, right? 9, 9, 11, 3. 4, 3, this is what we're talking about. So we're going to um, create the new coordinates by uh, using this translation. Very simple now, okay? So let's take our uh, first uh, coordinate, 4, 3. So how do I get the x coordinate? We'll just add 2 to it. So here I have 4, so I'm going to add 2 to it. So 4 plus 2 is 6 right there. And then I have 3, okay, is my old one. How do I get the new one? Uh, Y coordinate, just take the old one and subtract 5. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2, all right? So uh, very, very simple. Here's our old, or coordinate, 9, 9. You can see how I just add 2 to it. It becomes 11. 9 plus 2 is 11. And then when I subtract uh, 9 from, or 5 from 9, I get 4. So here, 11, 3 is going to go to uh, 13, negative 2. This is the uh, translation, okay? So this right here is the specific translation, and we're basically mapping these points. Okay, that's a word that uh, you want to be familiar with, mapping. We're taking one point, 
right here, and we're going to map it to another new location, all right? But we're going to kind of do this in, in unison. So we have our little triangle here, so we're going to map it to a new triangle. But this movement here is called a translation, all right? Now, this, again, there's different type of translations. You can rotate this. You can uh, do a reflection, uh, all kinds of stuff. And you definitely need to know this, but this notation here, that's what this means. Okay, so now we can put this together. Uh, pretty simple. Let's keep in mind these uh, are the new uh, coordinates after this mapping is done. Here's the old, and here is the new. So let's go ahead and put this together so we can get our new image here of this uh, triangle. Okay, so here it is. Here's our translation. Here's our original triangle at the respective uh, coordinates. Okay, and you can see 4, 3 is going to get mapped to 6, negative 2. So this is is going to go to a new coordinate. This right here is going to get mapped to uh, 6. So if this is 4, like 6, and then negative 2, this is 3. So it's going to be somewhere down here. Uh, 9, 9 right here is going to get mapped to 11, 4. Okay, so that's going to be like down here someplace. And then uh, 11, 3 is going to get mapped to 13, negative 2. So this triangle is going to move it's going to get mapped, or basically, it's going to. There's going to be this transformation, translation. Okay, all these terms apply, and it's going to end up going in this direction. All right, so let's go ahead and just plot. The easiest way to do this is literally you can just plot these. If you have graphing paper, this is a good use of graphing paper because you can be very precise about that. So. You know, you could plot these points here on your graphing paper, connect your connect the dots, have your triangle, and then plot these ones here, and then show the uh, actual mapping. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, again, each of these here are going to go to its respective new points, and when we do that, it's going to look like this. Okay, so here's the old triangle. There's the translation being uh, performed. Okay, each vertice got mapped to different... Um, uh, different locations, but you know the triangle itself. Uh, this is not a, what we call a dilation. All right, it's still the same size and whatnot. It just moved to a different location on the x y axis, and here is our translated uh, vertices. Okay, so if you understand that, and if you actually put these into the comment section, then that's pretty awesome. I must give you a happy face with a good old 1983 Mohawk with extra Aquanet hairspray and A+, plus and 100%. That's pretty awesome. Okay, you've certainly been paying attention to your geometry teacher, or maybe you've just been watching my videos. I don't know. Either way, nice job, okay? But you need to know and understand translations. And again, there's uh, many more uh, in geometry, right? guy reflections, rotations, and it can get a little confusing uh, for sure, and things like dilations as well. But this is stuff that you need to know and uh, be paid, uh, being, uh, you know, really pay a lot of attention to. Again, I teach this thoroughly in my geometry course, all right? But if this little video helped you out in some small way, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. So I really try to uh, have a broad coverage of all the things I teach. But I, you know, my goal with anything I teach is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So uh, you know, if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.